friends welcome back to our class how are you i hope you all are fine now i am going to take the revision of subject physics lesson number 3 force students firstly i will define what is the meaning of force the push or pull on an object is called force for example force as push when we push the door it open another example the car which does not start by engine when we push the car so it starts to move these are the examples of force as push now see the examples of force as pull students to move a luggage trolley it is pulled by pulley a rickshaw man pull a rickshaw to move it so these are the examples of force as pull so we can say that students force is caused as push or pull tends to result the movement of body students now we will talk the effect of force so generally in this lesson we will talk about six effects of force first effect of force a force can move a body originally at rest for example a car which is in rest position so we can apply force as a push to move it force can stop a moving body while playing the cricket the fielder catch a ball we can stop a moving ball by catching it third effect of force a force make a moving body to move faster for example when we push from back side to a swing or to a moving swing so it move faster fourth effect of force a force can slow down a moving body students a moving bicycle is slow down when we apply a brake fifth effect of force a force can change the direction of moving body students example while playing the football we can change the direction of moving football by kicking it sixth effect of force a force can change shape or size of the body for example or we apply force as squeezing so we can change the shape of a rubber body students when we apply a force as pull when we pulling the string so its length or we can say its size change uh, we will talk kind of forces so there are generally two kinds of forces first contact force second non contact force so what is the definition of contact force a force acts on body by making a actual contact is called contact force so it have four types muscular force as push or pull on an object second force of friction the force of friction acts between two surfaces and it is just opposite to the motion of the object third force of tension force of tension in a string when a load is suspended and this force of tension acts in upward direction force of reaction which is 
normal to a surface when an object is put on a surface. Now, students, we will talk about the non-contact forces. The non-contact forces, the forces act on bodies with no contact with them, or we can say that the force which acts between two bodies with some distance is called non-contact force. It has also three types, gravitational force, electrostatic force and magnetic force. So firstly, what is the gravitational force? The force of attraction on a body by a earth is called gravitational force. For example, when we throw a ball in upward direction, so it falls on the ground because there is a force and the force is gravitational force. The ball is attracted by earth. Second, electrostatic force. The force between two charged bodies with some distance, they attract or repel each other. For example, when you rub a comb by hair, so comb is charged and it attracts the bits of paper by a electrostatic force. Third, magnetic force. Between two poles of magnet with some distance is called magnetic force. Like poles attract each other, unlike poles repel each other. Next, students, we will talk about the force of friction. The force which slow down the motion of moving body in contact with other body is called force of friction. And we can say that friction is the force which opposes the relative motion between two surfaces when in contact with each other. Now we will talk about the disadvantages of force of friction. First, force of friction opposes the motion. The students, the force of friction acts between two surfaces of two bodies and this force of friction opposes the motion of the body. Second disadvantage of force of friction. Force of friction always acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. Third disadvantage of force of friction. Force of friction produces heat. Students, when the two moving parts of machines come in contact, so we can say that two surfaces come in contact and they continuously rub, so they produce the heat. So we can say that force of friction between two surfaces produce heat. When we rub our palms, when the two surfaces come in contact, so they produce the heat due to the force of friction. For example, when the two stones rub each other, so these two surfaces come in contact and they rub each other and they produce the heat. Students, fourth disadvantage of force of friction. Force of friction causes wear and tears. For example, you know that the tires of rickshaw, car, bicycle, they come in contact with the surface of road. Due to this force of friction, the tires get damages. So they are no longer. So we can say that force of friction causes wear and tear. Now we will talk about the factors affecting the force of friction. First factor affecting the force of friction the smooth the smoothness of the surfaces. Students, the force of friction between two rough surfaces is more, and the force of friction between two smooth surfaces is less. Second
second factor affecting the force of friction the presence of solid liquid and gas around the moving body there is more force of friction between solid and solid surface less force of friction between solid and liquid surface third factors affecting the force of friction the weight of the moving body on the surface so students more the weight of the moving body there will be more force of friction between the ground and the moving body and if less force of friction and if less weight of the moving body so the force of friction between ground and the moving body is also less we will talk about the kinds of force of friction so there are three kinds of force of friction first static friction second sliding friction third rolling friction what is the static friction the maximum opposing force between the object and the surface in contact with it so long the objects remain stationary even on applying the external force is called static friction now sliding friction when the body begins to slide on the surface the force exerted by the surface on the object is called sliding friction now third rolling friction when the body rolls on the surface the force which opposes the rolling motion of the object is called rolling friction and students static friction is greater than sliding friction and sliding friction is greater than rolling friction the students now we will talk about the ways of reducing the force of friction so there are generally four ways of reducing the force of friction first by making the surfaces smooth we can rub the surfaces by sandpaper and we can make the surface smooth second ways of reducing the force of friction by using the lubricants we know that students in factories we use the many big machines we can reduce the force of friction between two moving parts of machine by using grease or oil now third way of reducing the force of friction by using ball bearing we know that students rolling friction is very less than the sliding friction so we can use the ball bearing to reduce the force of friction fourth way of reducing the force of friction by stream line stirs like solid liquid and gases also exerts force of friction on the bodies moving around it so we can say that the process of giving shape of pointed ends is called spring lining for example moving board its front shape is sharp and pointed so that's why board exerts less force of friction in water surface for example aeroplane its front shape is sharp and pointed so it exerts less force of friction by air surface so we can give that special shape that is pointed and sharp and so they exerts less force of friction in liquid or water students now we will talk about the advantages of friction so there are many examples of advantages of frictions okay first without the force of frictions we are not able to walk on the road second students in rainy seasons the road become wet and the force of friction is reduced and the roads are become slippery 
simplify students force of friction supporting a ladder inclined to wall students without force of friction we are not able to sit on the chair or table we are not able to brush our teeth students without force of friction we cannot burn the match stick and students without force of friction we are not able to write on the black board by chalk now we will talk about ways of increasing the force of friction first way of increasing the force of friction by making the surfaces rough we know that students rough surfaces have better grip on each other second way increase the force of friction by using the dry surfaces we know that students dry surfaces have more force of frictions and smooth surfaces have less force of friction third way of increasing the force of friction by increasing the weight students you know that more the weight of the object or more the weight of the body there is a more force of friction exerted by the ground surface on the moving body so students i hope you understand ways of increasing the force of friction i hope students you understood the revision of this lesson thank you